Hey traders, good evening. Just wanted to bring you a quick video and um, go over our portfolio and uh, just take a look at what's uh, going on and as our portfolio and year is shaping up uh, nicely here. So let's uh, take a look at uh, with the market. I have a market uh, open up open here. Uh, we talked about the market. Um, I think last video I did uh, was right here and we went in in depth here as to what's happening with the market so now it's basically you can see here from a monthly standpoint and when when I start scanning at the um, end of the month or mid month or beginning of the month I've always start from higher highest time frame which is a monthly time frame then I go to the weekly daily and I look for really entry on the daily and the weekly chart but most of my swing trades come from the weekly chart so it is basically what you have is a monthly breakout. You have one, two, three, four months of sideways consolidation, and now we're breaking out. And right here, daily chart, it is not extended by any means. Um, you can see here we had a big, you, we had a big, big base here in in the queues. I talked about it in um, a couple of videos. I talked about it. Uh, this this base here, we had a nice base here. Then we had another nice base right here. And uh, we're just, you know, finally broke out um, last week, short week, and it was a very, very bullish week. So four weeks of trading, very bullish week. Uh, what we have to look at, all the bad news is out. Elections are out. Uh, fraud, election fraud is out. COVID is out. COVID vaccine is out. Um, you know, whatever the uncertainty is, inauguration is done, new administration is placed, they are super dovish. I mean, anything that you can think of is is out. So market hates uncertainty, that is all out, and we are setting up for a good run in the market. I mean, some pullback will be great. Uh, look at the SPY, SPY is also consolidating at the highs, and it, it too, just like Qs, are very bullish. Uh, IWM was profound on Friday because it gapped down and looked like it wanted to come down to 21 period moving average and really just close at the very high as you can look what's going on here and it is a one 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 impressive uh, one impressive uh, chart here um, as far as the IWM so uh, wanted to just uh, wanted to bring you guys this what's going on let's take a look at our portfolio and see what's been happening in in our portfolio we have a nice nice month um, a ni nice start to the year here in our portfolio and you can see uh, we're up about four, about 15 percent here only on 80,000 we reset it at the beginning of the year uh, nice trades and you know obviously moss and I'll go over these trades for you and then I have some uh, new trades uh, so first let's take a look at our portfolio is neo uh, neo is you know obviously we, we got we we entered NEO right up here. It went up, came back, and now it's starting to move back up. So nice volume, nice day on Friday. Um, weekly chart looks good. Monthly is in a one, two, three, and and finally the downtrend. Uh, it broke the downtrend on hourly chart. So nothing, uh, no change here as far as the stops or anything. I mean, I think we we already changed the stop to 56. The entry is at 56. It's sitting at 61, and that where that is where my uh, stop is right right up here on Neo CRSR. That is probably that is our only losing position. Take a look at here, and not by much. Uh, it is not by much. So this is our losing position uh, in CRSR. And, you know, I mean, obviously, if I had uh, if I had eight ball, um, you know, then I'll be doing a lot much uh, different things than just uh, recording this video. I don't have the uh, crystal ball. So um, here we go. I We have what? One, two, three, four. If you take a look at this. We have 22 trades out of the 22 trades. We've we have three losing trades, and you know obviously Uber that just bothers me. But that was that was break even, whatever. Um, so th three um, three losing trades, and when you take a th three losing trades, they are. Uh, you know, you take a look at, you know, this is really about portfolio management and you take a look at three losing trades and they are about averages $177 on the three losing trade, which is, you know, uh, which is fine uh, so far if I close the CRSR, CRSR is not closed. So right now we only have what, you know, $206. So, um, and this is only 3% down. So that's not bad. And, you know, me, for, for me, it's all about return on investment. I'm not really into the R 
uh, unit because it's impossible. As you can see right now, we have we have um, right now we have 12 position open. So if you 12 position open and this is all within 80,000, no margin because we only. I mean, if you truly look at it, you know this is 57,000 dollars off the uh, 57,000 dollars as we have invested in the market on a 57,000 dollars. We are we are making 11,800 dollars. So that's you know when when you really look at you know in in uh, in terms of what is really invested in the market versus you know total portfolio because we don't have the total portfolio invested in the market you know we're we're right around 20 percent 20 20 21 percent right so 21 percent here um returns on a 57,000. so that is um yeah, that's phenomenal right here quite frankly um and then our our winnings so we i just showed you guys the losing trades are about 200 dollars a trade and then our winning trades which will be uh, i just rolled that in there anyway so whatever uh, $646 on on the winning trade $11,634 so that's you know that's what's been happening uh, from from our winning standpoint and so far we have you know we have booked profit realized profit we have some unrealized profit, but we have realized profit of eight thousand dollars here in in january so that's you know that's that's pretty phenomenal um you got to be proud of that is because we already booked 10 percent in january so congrats to the members uh so i wanted to go over that real quickly and then crsr we just talked about it i mean it has nice volume love that nice volume uh, we move the stop right here on CRSR and let this one let this one ride. Uh, ZS, I, I love this. This is about to break out. Uh, ZS, a nice weekly chart, no change here. Looks super nice. MDB, uh, we got into MDB at uh, $360. It's sitting at uh, 385-ish. Uh, 400 is our target, and it looks uh, pretty pretty darn close there. Um, Hymex. Uh, this was, you know, Hi Hymex is one of my, you know, one of my favorite setups here on Hymex. Uh, monthly chart broke the downtrend. We waited here, and this one doesn't have anything until 10 bucks here, quite frankly. So, you know, this we we got into this uh, weekly one, two, three, eight bucks. It went to nine, pulled back, going back up to nine. So that is the uh, goal here. Um, Eleven dollars is the goal. So we want, I want to get into right into this area on on high max so it's you know it, it may take a little bit of a time uh pltr that trade that we actually were in this trade this is a power play setup this is your ipo ipo base uh one two three four weeks higher so what you have to really t look at this is ten dollars it triple it triple and now when it triples it moves back it only moves back about you know, 15, maybe uh, it, it only moves back 15%. I mean, maybe 20% if you take a look at here from 30, you know, 30 to 24, that will be exactly uh, 20%. So 20% move back. But what you have to really understand and how to read these charts is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. And you need minimum six weeks of base for the power setup. So you have eight weeks of base that's finally broke out. Now, I, I like to get into these on um, this cheat area, and we did get into this and finally broke out on a massive, massive volume. And look at this monthly chart. Monthly chart was in a one, two, three setup. It's about to break out here. And um, I am I might look at this, you know, maybe a $50 target on PLTR. That looks super, super nice. Docu beautiful setup here on on the weekly chart i am adding to this position um, no change here as far as docu uh, and then cgc uh, looks really nice we got into cgc right here you've got a weekly chart that is transcending and then uh, a daily chart looks pretty good as well monthly one two three triggered uh, so that looks pretty darn good jd one of my favorite charts here uh, beautiful base 40 to 80 double about a 10 weeks here and then it's another power play setup that is about to go here so once it breaks out of this area right here about 96 look out above because there is nothing above here on jd so that is awesome too uh, xpev another uh, pltr type chart i just showed you this ba base you went from 20 to, to 75 so four times is a three times and now you have one two three four five six seven eight 
weeks of base a beautiful cup of handle that's built in here and it is about to go uh, we are in this position uh, i am looking for maybe add here a little bit and then profits into into the highs on xpev we cut our um, half a position that's another one that we talked about i mean another power play setup you know you go from six to 18 triple and then one two three four five six seven eight weeks of base we got into this trade at 1725 uh right into this area and boom it went to 24 dollars and we took uh we took half it we took half the position off uh book some profit and riding the other half triple d that was my speculative uh setup now this maybe it may have one more week here um i love this daily chart it so uh we'll see what what happens here with uh triple d i have um I've tightened the stop, but you can see it went up to 100 bucks at one point, but it's way in you know, 2014. So a recent memory on uh, on Triple D will be right up here. Look at this. You know, this just broke this downtrend. Uh, boom, 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 and next next stop is like right up here, 48 bucks on Triple D. So um, I I do like this. This one has you know this. This one has some uh, some 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 wheels here and some juice. Double uh, A P P A double P N. Uh, we took profits here on Friday nicely. Here we got into 176 and hit our profit at 206. And um, it looks higher. It looks higher. Same concept. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. I'm kind of teaching you guys, giving you you know, look at what the power play setup looks like. Uh, Nvax that is 140 breaks. You're gonna see a nice move here on Nvax. I have a position on uh, on Nvax um, that that I've traded uh, with the members here as well. Uh, Exas I also have a position on Exas and that looks pretty good on the daily chart. No changes here. All chart all time frames looks pretty bullish. Myrna I have a position that I've started at 108 and then I have another position at 118. I'm looking for about 160 on Myrna for profit. That is a nice uh, buy setup here on Myrna. One takeout 140. We'll see 160 pretty quickly on Myrna. Uh, FireEye um, you know just uh, uh, this is this if this can base here for another couple of weeks that would be great but i don't think i want to wait and i want to get into this trade now entry here will be 20 uh 24 about 24 dollars on fire eye um, fdch it's a very nice base here daily chart looks pretty good breakout um, I love this one as well. Uh, let me give you a couple of other ones that I really like beyond uh, daily flag here. Uh, this this will be up, up right here, 145. Your stop will be about one uh, right here. 145, you can probably play this if you want a really, really tight stop. Your stop will be what, 135 on beyond. Uh, Best Buy also a nice uh, forming a nice little, uh, nice little daily flag here on Best Buy. If you like to trade this, this one looks pretty darn good um, as well and could, could have a nice run up. Um, I also like the ABMD. This one has nice short interest as the daily flags, uh, one, two, three, four setup here on a daily as well. Uh, this one, this one can get going here pretty quickly. Um, the other ones that I like is laser. Uh, laser is super nice here over 35 bucks. It's about to break out here. Uh, same concept I just showed you. It's a, the, the, I call it a power play setup. So what you got here is in, you, you went from 10 to 30, uh, maybe right here, but look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of base. And you know, we like eight, but I'm okay with seven. And it is about to break out here as well. On the other side, I like DKNG. Uh, that is over 55, a good entry that's setting up here. Uh, we, uh, I talked about ABMD already. Yes, I talked about the ABMD. Um, ABNB, um, Airbnb, daily chart. Look for look for daily chart to break out and um, could get going here. Um, I like this Domo chart uh, that broke out kind of or tried to break out on Friday. 
that also uh, looking pretty darn good. Now this is one of my favorite setup here. Uh, the nice pull back here on the rising moving average, and now you've got um, you you can see this move higher as well in Chewy. Uh, look for a move in Cyber. This is a nice consolidation in Cyber. Uh, the target uh, the trigger will be about 167.40, and your stop will be about 158. Um, Look for JKS to make a move over 70. Your stop got to be about 60, uh, $10 stop. But this thing is a legit, legit power play set up here. I mean, uh, I am going to get, get into this at 70. Um, so let's say if I'm going to take um, let's say if I'm going to take a 10% of my portfolio in this position, so I'm going to add 5% here. Um, let's say it's a 5% for easy math. 5% uh, of your portfolio is $7,000, which is 100 shares. So you would enter 100 shares here. Stop will be a 60, and then you enter another 100 shares here and that will be 200 shares and then your stop will become right into this area it depends how it sets up so it'll be you have 10 percent of your portfolio in a power play set up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fifteen weeks right one so you took it uh, actually this one made the highest so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen weeks of base so this is legit power play setup here look at this monthly chart is also basing so that's why eighty dollars is a trigger and this thing's probably go to two twenty dollars i mean hundred and twenty dollars uh this one is the fave here uh look for shack as well uh weekly one two three that that is going to trigger on shack that also looks pretty good so with that hopefully um you uh you take some of these and if not it's a nice lesson of uh what how the power play setup uh, what what to look for in a power play setup and how uh, we or at uh, playbook trading uh, do our portfolio again nice nice move in our portfolio and um, i look forward to seeing everyone in a chat room tomorrow